Good morning. It's August the 15th. Can you believe it? just about halfway through the month? Man, time does fly. Uh, we had a great weekend here in Wichita. Temperatures were in the upper 80s as opposed to the upper 90s. Did have humidity, but 10, 15 degrees makes a heck of a difference. Uh, so it was very enjoyable, and I hope it was the same for you, although I read that things were pretty tough in the Northeast. Uh, it is Monday morning. Only major piece of news out over the weekend was the revised Japanese GDP met uh, was much higher than the previous uh, number, like 2.3%. Japanese stocks sold. Why would they sell on a good GDP number? Because the Bank of Japan doesn't have to stimulate or add to the economy. Uh, and that's the way the game's being played these days. Uh, bad news is good news because the banks around the globe have to continue to support their markets no matter what the underlying statistics show. Uh, banking holiday in France and Italy, so the overnight volumes are way down. And that's where we find ourselves this morning. Okay, I think best support on the um, 10 years in this 8 to 12 area, but we've got a question mark at 16. That could be um, where we find ourselves. So uh, first buy is 9 to 13. Followed by 1 to 5. Uh, I think the stock market will be the major determinant of where this contract goes. Uh, resistance starts at 20 based on the overnight session. So first sell is 19 to 23. Followed by 27 to 31. Okay, um, we do have some news. Empire Manufacturing Survey could come in lower than forecast, plus 2.5%. And NAHB housing index forecast to be at 60. I, I don't have a feel for that number. I, I mean, it could be, my guess is it's, it is 60 or higher. Uh, the Empire Manufacturing Survey, if recent economic news is a guide, uh, could come in lower than forecast. But it is Monday morning. There's not a lot going on. I think ultimately the direction of the stock market, which is pointed higher, will determine the direction of uh, treasuries. And if the E-mini does trade higher, I would imagine treasuries will trade lower. Okay, looking at the 30-year, resistance starts at 8 to 12. So 15 to 19, sell 1. 23, 27, sell 2. Support is 28 to the buck. So 21, 25 by 1. Got to pick up uh, this area right over here. Then 9 to 13 will be by 2. Again, for the uh, treasuries, I believe the direction of the E mini will tell the tale of the treasuries tape. Gold's higher over the weekend, hanging in there pretty well. Longer term, like the long side of gold, better than the short side. So 4547 is where resistance is right now. London's high was 4750. Uh, volume is such that we have a P volume wise and it is a P TPO wise so maybe a little bit higher so uh, 49.51 sell 1 54.56 sell 2 on the buy side 40.42 uh, then 35.37 
currencies were up a little bit not by a lot but and the dollars down a day or two then up a day or two it's um, nothing's really goes anywhere it's in a trading range but you have to move it a little bit and you can see that right now it looks like we're headed for 112 or higher so that is resistance 112 and 1225 for sell 2 and we've got this little e-print right there at 112 uh, that might hold on the buy side um, 1175 by one 1150 by two pretty much where we were on Friday's close crude oil the strength in equities around the globe was attributed to crude oil and we thought the crude might be headed for 45 a round number on Friday afternoon and we thought that would be a pretty good place to sell it and so far that turns out to be the case so sell ones 4475 45 then 4550 4575 again this looks a lot like Friday afternoon's work on the buy side uh, 44 44 and a quarter that's where support is I think we got a shot below the buck so 43.50 43.75 put us in this high volume area from Friday I think would be the better buy but the fundamentals for crude remain weak you and London really have fabulous opportunities because the markets trade technically you that can trade London time you're against a technical mindset and uh, our support and resistance levels the structure numbers really hold well overnight they are slower markets so it requires more patience but it's that's not all bad slower markets if you can ride your trades and uh, if you can trade London time don't don't pass it up Okay, we made a new contract high, another one. That is where resistance is. So failure to take out and hold 8587. Is a trade, not our preferred one. We'd like to get long first. And they might take it a little bit lower on the opening, spook the weak length. So 79 to 81 by one. And then 74, 76, 77 by 2. Them good stops below 75. But the um, we prefer the long side of the market. Price and structure supports higher prices. Empire Manufacturing Survey at plus 2.7 could come in lower than forecast. Housing, NAHP housing index at 60 is probably where it's going to come in. Um, my guess is we're going to look at another slow grind higher in the E-mini. Uh, might get some selling um, early. Spook the market a little bit, but like we've said now, starting our third week, buy 2,200 calls and enjoy the ride. Market is pointed higher. Okay, going to take a bit to get stuff up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be with you as soon as possible.